we felt dirty and I felt disrespected. I felt uh, embarrassed. My family, we, we weren't no criminals, but I felt we were treated like criminals. I stopped this individual for a simple traffic violation. He thought that I was basically harassing him. He just was upset. He begins to curse me out, call me out my name, um, try to bait me into a physical confrontation with him to the point that I, I advised him that if you, if you felt that uh, my actions were uh, not deemed, uh, then you should lodge a complaint. Community police relationships are a national crisis issue around our country, and all of us are looking for solutions on what we can do. Community police mediation is one way that we know works to improve community police relationships and makes a space where everyone can feel fully heard and understood and share what's important to them and what they want for their communities. Every case is mediated by two professionally trained neutral mediators who represent the demographics of our community. We have 30 mediators who've undergone more than 50 hours of specialized training in community police mediation. When they get to the mediation room, the mediators um, will explain the mediation process and then invite the officer or civilian to share what brought them to mediation and about the original incident that led to the complaint being filed and to the mediation. One officer shows up for uh, all of 10 minutes of time that I think he gave me. He was rude. He was looking around and, you know, seemed kind of distracted and not really paying so much attention to me. I mean, he barely even looked me in the face. Mediation is voluntary, it's non-judgmental, it's free, and it's confidential. So mediation is voluntary in that neither the officer or civilian are forced to go into mediation. They both enter at their own free will and neither are forced to say anything or do anything that they don't want to do. Mediation is confidential, so there's nothing that's recorded on any device and the mediators take notes and destroy those notes after the mediation and everyone signs a confidentiality agreement. And mediation is non-judgmental, so the mediators are not judges, they don't take sides, and they don't give advice. The mediations take place in community venues, so they usually take place a couple blocks from a civilian's home in a space like a conference room at a public library, a community center, a classroom in a public school, or a nonprofit boardroom. First, let me start off, if I came off that I didn't care about your call, or um, I wasn't showing interest in your call, I apologize. I understand that they damaged your property. When civilians file complaints of officer misconduct, they're categorized into different types of allegations. And the types of allegations that most commonly go to mediation are allegations of professionalism, discourtesy, neglect of duty, or racial profiling. The Community Police Mediation Program created a new process where civilians and officers can both feel fully heard and understood for the first time and they come up with their own agreements about how they want to move forward to resolve the issue at hand. A topic that I heard both of you discussing um, is communication. Um, Jess, it sounded like you're looking for professionalism and respect and compassion. Um, and Lawrence, it sounds like you're looking for efficiency. Is communication something that you would both want to make a plan about? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. The New Orleans Police Department has suffered from a history of fractured relationships with the people of New Orleans, creating a crisis of confidence and public safety in the city. The nationally recognized Community Police Mediation Program creates space and allows for authentic conversation and healing to take place to improve these community police relationships. I would definitely try to use a better uh, tone, uh, not in, just in this situation, but other situations I may come in up. I, I appreciate that because my safety, I don't take it as a joke. I do appreciate that. Thank you. I do appreciate that. We conduct surveys after every mediation, and nearly 100% of all civilians and officers found the mediations to be unbiased, appreciated the opportunity to speak with each other, and agreed that the mediation helped build mutual respect between the two of them. They also found the mediation to be successful. 89% of civilians said that the session helped them gain a better understanding of policing, and 92% of officers agreed that mediation is a good way of resolving disputes between civilians and police officers and helped them understand the civilian's point of view. Every officer said that they would do mediation again, and most civilians said the same. The mediation gave us vindication because we were able to face the officer and look at him and tell him exactly what he did. And, and, and we wasn't persecuting him, but each one of us told him how we were. From an old man, now he's supposed to be my age, 
and my wife and to my son, a millennium. I'm a, a baby boomer. So we, we told him where the, where the mistake at, the mess, the mess up at. It went so well with the police officer and, and the communication and the understanding with him and with me and the mediator that I just had to recommend and tell other vendors about how well it went and that, uh, that the problem was solved and everything's okay. You get to know the person. It's not an adversarial situation. So you get to know the complainant. It's a one-on-one -on -one, and hopefully by the end of the mediation you have a meeting of the minds and it works. It allowed me to understand his portion of the night and why he had to leave so I could get the backstory. And not only that, but the mediators themselves also helped us to come together after hearing both sides of the story and create a plan in which we both felt comfortable moving forward. So they created resolution out of conflict. I love the program. I recommend it to anybody else. Um, I, I recommend it to any other citizen. This is your time to actually get to know your police officers that police in your neighborhoods.